All right, hey, this is Pythonic Accountant. Back to string together a few of my previous videos where I used ChatGPT to help write some code to pull down an invoice in a PDF format or a list of invoices in a PDF format that have some complexity to them and pull the text out and extract the individual items that I need to turn into a data frame. So now the last step I wanna do is kind of pull this together into um, a full data frame. You know, the last one that I did was in uh, video 39, we were able to extract the invoice line items, but what I really wanna be able to do is, is get the voucher number and invoice number as well. So we're gonna do this manually because I think it'll be easier than ChatGPT. I tried using ChatGPT, but it just didn't work. So we're gonna say, um, we're gonna revise this name tuple here. And if you wanna see how we created this, this is in the last one. So we're gonna say we need um, vendor, number and vendor name and then what we're going to do here is vendor number vendor name and now we're going to define the vendor number and vendor name so for line and lines um, vendor line cool sorry to search all right i think we have a specific pattern for the vendor pattern up here. And it's going to be uh, this guy right here. So let us copy that down here. And I'm gonna call this our vendor pattern. But I also wanna capture the groups associated with it. So the vendor number is going to be that three digit number. So I think if I would just copy this format and it goes inside the parentheses, so it's going to be parentheses, that format, digit three, close parentheses, but I'm going to change that to be vendor number. And then the rest is after the space, so I'm going to do parentheses and vendor name blah 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 and perfect that's what i want to capture so vendor number vendor name and i'm going to say if uh re dot search vendor pattern line I'll say if uh, vend line then vend num equals and line and how do you do it it is going to be dot group bend line and then bend name equals bend line dot group bend name and I just realized I have a bug here that should be bend num bend num bend num okay um this may work. Should we just try it and see what happens? I say yes. Ah, it didn't work. Okay, so re.match. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be helpful if I spell the word group correctly with a G. Let's see, will this work? It's not complaining yet. That's a good sign. So I'm hoping I have a data frame that ends up having all of the same items that I had before, but also with a vendor name and vendor number. Oh man, this is cool. Oh man, this is cool. Okay, so 200, 200, 200. Yes. Oh, this looks great. Let's just test one out. Let's test um, 300. So I'm going to do the DF where the vendor number is equal to 300. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a Let's see if I remember how to do this. Do a group by. Group by vend num uh, dot sum. And that's going to be funky. That's not data frame has a group by. And then let's see if the amounts match. So 225, 225, 2317, 2017, 225, 25. This is like my old auditor days. Uh-oh, we got an issue here. 
204, clerk of the district court, is including, oh, okay, cool. We figured out that the, uh, I bet the slash is, is giving it an issue. So 204 thinks that it's got all those things and it's skipping 225. 240, 129, 85, that's good. 250, 15,010, that's good. 300, 323, that's good. 325, 127, 50. 400 has 68.96. Okay, awesome. This is perfect, except the um, one with the slash was messed up. So let's see if that is something that is just a messed up piece of our pattern in the vendor invoice match. So vendor pattern equals blah, 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 A through nine. Yeah, it's missing um, that one character of a forward slash. And I don't think that's a special character. So I'm just gonna throw it in there. And then let's just try that again. And then I'm gonna rerun this piece. And um, then we'll rerun, actually we don't need that one, but we'll rerun the group by again and see if it gives us the correct 220, 204 amount and 225 amounts of 322.50. There we go, 322.50. Holy crap, that is awesome. All right, so there you have it, guys. This is how we have strung together all the different pieces of working very closely with ChatGPT to do a ton of stuff. Now, granted, I wouldn't recommend a beginner Python programmer to do this because as you have seen, we've run into a few bugs along the way that were probably not easy to solve uh, for someone who's a complete beginner, but um, this saved me a lot of time, honestly. Like this is a lot more pleasant of an experience than trying to figure out all the pieces by myself. So I'm certainly gonna keep um, using ChatGPT uh, or whatever the future versions of it are as something that will help me in my coding endeavors and you know learning new libraries and learning new things and debugging things. There's a lot of cool stuff to come. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more like it. And we'll see you soon.